awesome. All right. Got a question for you guys. How you doing? You good? Oh, that wasn't the question. How many women here would blatantly go after a guy just because he's rich? Come on, admit it. Oh, there's one girl over there. Okay, a few over there, a few over there. All right. Would you let a man wine and dine you and buy you gifts even though you knew you were never going to sleep with him? Yeah, I'll admit that too. Okay. Our guests today say they have no problem using men for money or being called gold diggers because they feel it's their right to take what they can get from a man and give as little as they can in return. And they are outraged at the feminist movement for giving men the idea that it's okay to sit back and let women pick up the check. Well, you may not think it's right to hunt down rich men, but these women will force you to answer the question, do you really want to date a poor one? Meet Lisa Johnson. This is her. The author of How to Snare a Millionaire. Judging from that title, you probably, uh, I, I, I guess I know where you stand on this issue. You do indeed. Okay, so wh what made you write this book in the first place? People actually asked me to write it. I hadn't, it was not my intention, but um, I was dating a lot of wealthy guys, not particularly paying attention to it, but some of my friends said, Lisa, we want some of your action. What do we have to do to date guys like you? So tell us quickly, what do we have to do? I mean, I, I'm not thinking for me, everybody. <laughs> I'm thinking for all of you out there. Okay, first of all, your heart has to be in the right place. You know what I mean? You need, to, you need to be willing to give to them what they want, and they, in return, will give to you what you want. But that does not necessarily mean sex. Yeah, you know, because that's where I'm going. They have, of course, that's, that's, that's where everybody goes first. But they have social needs. You know what I mean? They need somebody to go out to dinner with. Who wants to eat alone? They need somebody to travel with. Who wants to travel by themselves? That's no fun. Who wants to sit at a Lakers game by themselves? You know what I mean? They need a good companion to go along with them. So are you saying you need to just fill that need? Exactly. In every you area. need to Intellectually. be a good companion. Exactly. Okay, and is it true you've been engaged to 21, or, or you've been proposed to by 21 different millionaires? I have been proposed to by 21 different millionaires. More than 50 times, because some of them are persistent and ask you more than once. Now wait, did you get the rings? Did you keep the rings? Where are the rings? I have a few diamonds, but I'm always willing to give them back if they, if they want them back. Really? And sometimes we don't even get to that point, and sometimes, you know, they propose and I say no. You know. And you are not married? No, and I have not slept with all of those 21 men either. Sometimes they propose to me to get me to sleep with them. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to check in with you later on the show, okay? okay? First up, we're going to meet Vanessa. Vanessa says her friend Kelly makes no excuses for the fact that when it comes to dating, she is in it for the money. Vanessa, tell us about your friend. My friend Kelly is the biggest gold digger I know. If they don't have nice clothes, um, jewelry, uh, gold teeth, any, a car, anything. It has, they have to have something bling bling. Like we can be walking down the street and taking the kids for a walk and we'll see, you know, two nice guys walking down the street beside us. She won't even look, and look their way because they don't have a nice car or because they're walking or they're on a bike. She cannot stand people that ride bikes. So, and um, she has a few questions that she starts to ask right off the bat. What yeah. kind of car? What's the job? How much money do you make? Yeah, what can you do for me? What can you give me? How can I benefit from you? See, I, I, I wonder favorite. if that's the best tactic to meet a man with money. Oh, you're already shaking your head, Lisa, huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. Because you have to take into consideration what you can do for them, too. You know. And let me also say that no matter how rich somebody is, nothing is for free. No. So you always have to give something in return to get something. All right, and uh, do you have a problem with your, your friends, the way she treats men? Yes, because she's never, she always complains, oh, I want kids and I want to be happy, but you're not going to be happy being a gold digger. Well, you know what? Let's see for ourselves. She, she better look good. She has enough nails. Let's see. Kelly, come on out. So you are a gold digger and proud of it. Yes, I am. Bling, bling, Ricky. You say a man is only good for his money. Yes. That's what your mama taught you. Yes. And is it true that you went up to a guy, just started talking to him, and he gave you $1,000 in yes. cash? Yes. Yes, because he came in. He tried, to pick, he tried to pick me up in the bar. And um, he said, how much are you worth? And I said, 1000 He gave me not one, not two, not $300 bills, but $1,000 bills. And what did you have to give him in return? Nothing. He just, um, he just gave me his number. And um, I called him uh, about a couple weeks after that on a rainy, lonely day and got his credit cards. And, and you don't have a problem with what you're doing? No, I don't. That's my way of life. How do you get through the fact that like, you're using these people? Uh, that's all the men are for. No, that's, that's, that's not right. That's, what that's why I brought money. her here today, Ricky, to tell her that is not right. 
Stand up high. Yes, ma'am. I just want to tell you, you are a very beautiful person, and Thank you can you. do more to get money for yourself than you Thank people you. to get it. You know. Thank yeah, you. I mean, what about that? You say you do want kids and you want true love. I mean, it's but I'm not ready to settle down. I'm only 24, so. Yes, hi. I cannot believe that all you do is like nothing. It's like you have to either sleep with him. No man is just gonna give you just money no, right out of his no, pocket. No, I'm not on that track, man. And you're not gonna do nothing. They do well, I can't. Either they you're getting well, down on your knees, you're doing something in the bathroom, but you just can't tell me he's gonna pull out ten hundred dollar bills. I can't. I don't believe it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, you know, I I don't know if I believe it either. You, it's like you're lying. It's like and plus, it's like her friend. If you're gonna tell her friend, I don't like. You know, you're doing this with uh with all these guys. You're getting these money. Obviously, if you if you two guys are friends, you're acting the same way she is. You, two people can't walk alike and think the same. Uh, you know, well, she schooled me so. What do you mean she schooled you? I did not school What do you mean no. she taught you everything you know? No, no, she just gives me advice. <laughs> I, I feel but like you're not like do it, it. But she gives me advice. I mean, yeah. I don't do it. But you give I'm, me advice. But let me guess, are you, are you benefiting from what she's yeah, getting she's from these guys? Her and her she's kids kids benefiting. She yes. Not. She's trying to flip it around on me. Why don't you work if you're 24? I do. It's just I haven't. I don't know. I don't. I'd rather just you know get money. That's what. Because I, ha I have for to me. tell you just something. Get money. Get it money. feels a lot better when you actually earn the money you get as opposed right. to True, which I have begging the for it. Which I have in the past. All right, we're not through with you yet. Coming up next, a woman who says she is sick of slaving away as a clerk at a fancy department store and watching other women go wild with their rich boyfriend's credit cards. Well, we've got just the person to teach her all she needs to know about landing a guy with big bucks. What if this guy comes along, he's in his 40s, you know, he's successful, he wants to take care of you. You know, you got this big, fat NYU bill now forever, yes, this for loan sure. that will last forever. Would you consider maybe making that happen just for the sake of like, wow, it'd be so much easier. No, I joke about it. I joke about it with friends, but it would never, ever happen. Really? I want somebody else saying that I owe them something. Mimi just hit the nail on the head. Nothing is for free. There's a price for everything.